क्वेश्चन नंबर 126 आइसो बायलेटरल लीव्स व्हाट आर आइसो बायलेटरल लीव्स द लीव्स ऑफ मोनोकॉट्स आर कॉल्ड आइसो बायलेटरल लीव्स सो दे आर सीन इन मोनोकॉट्स द वेरी फर्स्ट ऑप्शन सेज दैट दे आर फाउंड इन डाइकॉट्स दिस ऑप्शन इज रूल्ड आउट बिकॉज़ दे आर सीन इन मोनोकॉट्स दे आर द लीव्स ऑफ मोनोकॉट्स दे लैक पेरिसेट पेरेनकाइमा सेल्स यस इन मोनोकॉट लीव्स यू विल फाइंड that the mesophyll tissue or the ground tissue of leaf is not differentiated into palisade and spongy parenchyma so there will be no palisade in monocot leaves but yes palisade and spongy parenchyma you can see in the leaves of dicots so this is true third one have conjoint and open vascular bundles no in leaves the vascular bundles are always closed be it monocot or the dicot leaf because they do not show the secondary growth they are closed for the secondary growth they are not open so this is wrong fourth have more stomata on upper epidermis which is called the adaxial surface no why they are called isobilateral leaves because they have nearly or almost the same number of stomata on both the surfaces so this is wrong so the correct option for the given question is option number Two. Let's pick up the next one. Question number one hundred and twenty-seven. Wood produced by plants of temperate region has a variable density. Yes, you can find out that in temperate regions the activity of the cambium is different, but in tropical regions the cambium activity is almost same. So you can find out the wood of different density in the temperate regions. is differentiated into lighter and the darker regions yes wood of temperate regions is differentiated into lighter and the darker regions and it produces the spring wood as well as autumn wood is similar in all aspects to that of tropical plants no is formed by differential activity of cambium yes differential activity of cambium can be seen there this is also correct so a b and d are true by analyzing the option we can say the correct option is option number 3 let's move to the next question question number 128 choose the incorrect match first sap wood it does not conduct water it is false it is incorrect why because sap wood is the only wood which conducts the water autumn wood vessels with narrow lumen yes in autumn season the vessels are produced with the narrow lumen spring wood has lighter density it is also correct that the spring wood has lighter density as compared to the autumn wood heart wood filled with the tannin phenols etc yes and that's why it is resistant to the microbial attack so the correct option for the given question is option number 1 let's move to the next question question number 129 cork it is redifferentiated tissue Yes, it is the redifferentiated tissue because it is formed by the dedifferentiated tissue called the phylogen or the cork cambium. So, if you see this phylogen or the cork cambium, it is secondary meristem, or you can say it is dedifferentiated tissue. It produces. cells on the outer side as well as on the inner side outer side cells are called the cork cells or the phylum and in inner side it produces the secondary cortex or the phylodum now these cells cork cells and the secondary cortex these are redifferentiated tissue so they are redifferentiated yes they have thin cell wall at maturity no they also called phylogen no phylogen is cork cambium not the cork cells they are phylum so no is absent in dicot roots no dicot roots also show secondary growth and they also produce the cork cells so the correct option regarding this question is option number 1 let's move to the next question question number 
identify the option which is correctly mentioning the precise location of the tissues in dicot stem after two episodes of secondary growth primary phloem is just outside the pericycle before dealing with this question you should understand that if you see that this is the part i am showing you from the dicot stem this is xylem and this is phloem right this is how in a stem it is present so this is primary xylem and this is primary phloem this is the cambial ring it will cut off the cells towards the inner as well as towards the outer side now when this ring produces the cells it produces secondary xylem towards the inner side and secondary phloem towards the outer side now see this this is primary phloem which is present over here when secondary growth will take place secondary phloem will be inner to the primary phloem so first option says primary phloem just outside the pericycle no because pericycle will be present over here and primary phloem will not cross the pericycle so this is wrong now next youngest secondary xylem is present just inside the vascular cambium yes it will cut off the secondary xylem over here and this youngest secondary xylem is present just inner side the vascular cambium because this is the vascular cambium this is correct oldest secondary phloem just outside the vascular cambium oldest secondary phloem is just outside no the youngest secondary phloem will be present just outside the vascular cambium this is also wrong oldest layer of sap wood if you see the section of wood you will find this is the heart wood and this is the sap wood oldest layer of sap wood just inside the heart wood no oldest layer of the sap wood will present just outside the heart wood here it will be present so this is also incorrect so the correct option for the given question is option number 2 let's move to the next question 